Hello everyone, I'm Jay and we're here at Pangyo Techno Valley for an interview with the CEO and founder of RMPT, Yuju Cho. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your company? Uh, hi, my name is Yuju Cho and I'm the CEO of RMPT INC. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to make a service of, name is Craze. Okay. Um, um, let me introduce my background first. Sure. Uh, I used to work in the General Hospital in New Jersey. Okay. Um, when I was working in the hospital, I uh, used to working in the breast imaging center. Okay. But I realized that the patient has um, some keep complaining for the it's a long procedure, but the procedure was quick, quick, but they have to wait so long time. Because um, they need to take the x-ray and the ultrasound, most of, but it takes about four hours. The whole, the whole, the whole process. Yes. So the x-ray and the ultrasound itself is very quick, but the process and the waiting time is very long. Yes, that's okay. right. So uh, when I came back to Korea, usually the patient complaining, complaining, but I went to the, the local hospital in Korea, but they did very well, very quick, quick. So it's no wait time, no more, you know. Mm -hmm. So I realized that, oh, maybe they, if they know that, they're gonna love it, the medical system in Korea. So I just tried to build up some system for foreign patients because um, the big hospitals is good system for foreign patients in mm -hmm. Korea. But the local hospitals, they don't have some system for foreign patients. So, oh. because um, I think that a lot of, most patients is a foreign patient, they don't know the local hospital has some is good quality for a system. Sure. Mm, but um, because I, I know, in, when I was in New Jersey, mm -hmm. Um, the local hospital, they just have uh, some, you know, doctor's office because all the procedure they do the in general hospital uh -huh. usually, uh -huh. right? But in Korea, it's even the local hospital, they have uh, some good procedure and the uh, medical equipment and even the MRI, you can do the local hospital if you need it. But uh, in USA, Especially, they don't do the local hospital. Mm -hmm. They have uh, some imaging center, uh -huh. but they don't have uh, some good equipment over there. Yep. So that's why usually patient needs to go to the general hospital, right? I can attest to this. I I'm American. I've been in <laughs> Korea 10 years now. The K-medical industry here, facilities, uh, the time it takes, the, the, the length of time. I shouldn't say mm -hmm. the length of time, the quickness, how rapid everything is, how efficient everything is, how easy it is. Mm -hmm. I can completely agree with everything you're saying. I would much rather get medical treatment here. Yes, that's right. So you have the experience of working in the US and mm -hmm. now you saw uh, some of the faults over there and then you saw how well the K-medical system is doing and so you wanted to connect foreigners to this. The one thing I could say is obviously the difficulties, being a foreigner and expat living here, mm -hmm. is it's hard to find these services, it's hard to connect and it's hard to register with these services. That's so right. leading into that, I assume your service addresses these issues. Can mm -hmm. you tell me a little bit about your service? Yeah, our Christ service, mm -hmm. we try to do some introduce for the local hospitals. Maybe foreign patient can the, see the, all, all the information and the doctor's background and the, which equipment they have and the, which locations, you know, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. That system may be introduced by themselves. And then if patient wants to make an appointment, they can do by themselves. And then if the appointment proce procedure, and then after that, they can make a payment to do it. So it so, handles everything. Yes. So we try to build all integrated system. Uh -huh. um, because it's a local hospital, they don't have some the website and then the payment systems and appointment system, they can do it. Yeah. Because it's so expensive for the developing, you know, the 
the hospitals to develop their own system in order yes, to do this. Yes. Especially, there are so many foreigners right now in Korea, expats. It's not just about being English. There are so mm -hmm. many foreigners that speak other languages as well. That's so to, right. to develop a multilingual system that's connecting them all this mm -hmm. is rather difficult, time consuming and expensive from the hospital's point of view. That's so right. your service, Crace, addresses all of this. Yes, we try to do it. Maybe uh, first service, we are going to do the English version first. Okay. And then after that, we are going to make it more, you know, by multi, multi Mul multilingual. Yeah, multilingual basis. So all the international patients making, maybe using for our system that maybe they know that the local hospital system, oh, they have uh, some, you know, good equipment and mm -hmm. then good doctors over there. Uh, so maybe they can make an easy appointment and then they can get a notification uh -huh. and uh, maybe they can make payment and then after care we try to do it more you know uh -huh. the procedure too getting all the information mm -hmm. booking the appointment the payment and the aftercare as well yes okay so i'm i'm what i'm seeing now is a medical matching service right yes yes what makes this unique so i i know there are some other companies in korea that are working with getting um expats not just expats living here, but foreigners abroad into the Korea medical sphere, being a medical matching service and AI now being part of our world. Yeah. Is it a personalized medical matching service? What makes your service unique in this area? Uh, we try to AI power for the based on that system because the patients, you know, profiling. Sure. Maybe we can do the algorithm for the which hospital or which local you know, the doctor mm -hmm. needs to the matching is the best, you know, medical uh, care. Yeah, sure. So even though you need to the health care, health screening, you know, the maybe annual health screening, uh -huh. that it's very important to the, is a which doctor care about your, you know, the scanning sure. and the results. So we try to do it. So that's, we call this a personalized the hospital matching. Yeah. So when you put into your background, and maybe the, some patient has some surgery and some you know disease or the family history, mm -hmm. then we try to do the profiling for the ah. matching the hospital. So it's not only about matching per say the treatment you need, but also with your medical history. That that's yes. that's the personalized part. Yes. And the AI algorithm going into it is, is learning from this process. So yes. as the patient gives feedback, the AI algorithm learns on top of this. So, mm -hmm. so it can even get better with personal recommendation through your system. Yes. So maybe the first service be very limited information, uh -huh. but after that we try to make more the deep learning and learning that may be more, you know, the specific, the patients is personalizing matching absolutely yeah so it learns from the first time that you input your data and your medical history it learns from that and helps to match even better and better to yes. upgrade okay so you're matching to get people into korea not only foreigners into korea but also foreigners living in korea right mm -hmm. um but uh, we try to start the mm -hmm. Just you know, for a patient from the outside. Oh, so first it's gonna be on focusing on medical tourism. Yes. Okay. And then after that, if the, our platform is built up for more, uh, maybe the stable mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. then maybe we are gonna do it more. Maybe we are gonna care about the is a local from patients too. Because that was my next question about your target market. So your mm -hmm. target market is first people living abroad who want to come to Korea to get the best medical service possible, right? Yes. And then once it's stabilized and you're proven to be successful, you want to also launch your program and service domestically to help foreigners get mm -hmm. uh, more efficient medical attention. I know being a foreigner here, one of the hardest things is the Korean system with electronic certification, all this. Yes. It is, is even difficult just living here, but mm -hmm. I can't imagine how difficult things like inputting phone number or card or address or just like, certification through your phone is something yes. obviously that foreigners coming in can't even handle. So you mm -hmm. guys help with this whole system as well. Yes, because uh, if you're going to leave, if you're leaving Korea, mm -hmm. maybe it's more easier to do it for electric certification. Easier, uh, yeah. I would say. I don't know about easy, <laughs> but easier. Yes. yes, but at least you can do it. Yes, right. Yes. But just a foreign visitor, 
they cannot do it because they don't have uh, any, you know, the social number in here. Even they have uh, some phone number from Korea. Right. It, they don't have uh, some without social, social number. They cannot do it. So your type of service is, is basically a necessity. It, it's mm -hmm. something that is needed to help people from abroad get the best medical care possible. And it, it is. I've been to hospitals, clinics here, whatever it may be. It's efficient. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's less costly. The doctors and the, the care and the infrastructure, the equipment, everything after being in the States and coming here, same. Uh, wow. And there's so much available. Mm -hmm. In order to get this started, how did you get your company started? Obviously, this probably took a lot of funding. So how did you get up to this point? Uh, so thankfully, we got a government Funding? Funding, yes, okay. only this year. So, so that's why uh, it's in the under construction with uh, our developers. So it is not an easy system. Mm -hmm. So that's why we try to make uh, you know the step by step, and then which one is more the convenience for the foreign patients, and then convenience for the local hospital doctors mm -hmm. too so we try to build up in the right way right now but yeah it, it is a cost you know but thankfully we got uh, the government you know funded funding it. yeah so you're, you're a brand new service then yes oh, are you still in the beta beta phase of testing all this Oh, we right now is uh, right now still developing right now. Okay. So we try to launching very soon. Okay. So, but I didn't know that is so many testing we have to do it. Especially in the medical field. Yes, and then um, we try to it's a less barrier for the from patients. So it, it was not a easier you know in Korea systems all yeah. things. But we try to do our best right now. So. Yes. What are your future? So you're going to be a new service soon. Uh, I have two questions based off this. Mm -hmm. One, are you in, are you already making contracts, collaborations and stuff within Korea happening now before its official launch? Um, have you started to work with healthcare facilities oh, in yeah, Korea yeah, yeah, yeah. and already getting this? So when you're ready to launch, it's kind of like good to go? Yes, we try to do it right now. Okay. So Actually, we want to focus on this, not a plastic surgery right now. Okay. So we try to focus on the kind of, you know, health screening. Ah. And uh, these days, all, especially the Americans, yeah. very interesting for the is K-beauty. Uh -huh. So sure. they know this dermatology care is very famous yeah. you know, in Korea. So they try to visiting for the dermatology care and then the dental care too. Okay. Because it is very expensive in US. Yeah. So and the, even the Europe too. So we try to the launch it with uh, the healthcare, you know, the screening first. Sure. And then dermatology care, you know, maybe same time. Okay. So we try to contact the dermatology and the internal medicine and the dental office too. So right now we're working on it. Oh, so you're already making the, these connections are already happening. Yes. What about when the when foreigners come over uh, as far as accommodations go? Are you guys also working with hotels to help uh, get this off? The, maybe later on, actually, we need to do it because okay. we realize that uh, all so many international patients needs to have uh, you know, information for the hotel. Yeah, and abs the, absolutely. You know, because um, they don't have, a, I think they have a, no idea for the uh, which location is you know far or so which location is you know close right. and the, which area is good or not. You know because uh, it's unfamiliar the area, even the Seoul too. So we try to do the Seoul. It's like a jungle and mm -hmm. the. The mm -hmm. you know, is mm -hmm. Myeongdong, is mm -hmm. something that area we are gonna do first. Okay. So we try to do it right now. So maybe later on we are gonna try to do more. Mm, yes. Spread, yeah, spread, spread out spread and become out. yeah, yes. become more uh, generalized throughout Seoul, mm -hmm. starting first, so you can address more areas. But as you said, those target areas, Jongro area and the Myeongdong area are around the biggest areas where not only foreigners come in just to see Korea for tourism, yes. but also for medical tourism. Your future business plans, we talked about how you got your business started, what's going on now, what are future business plans? What's in the pipeline? So we wanna do in the starting the medical field and then just, you know, maybe browse for the international visitors. Okay. Maybe we can do more, you know, Korean activities and then more, appointment, you know, that systems, maybe we're gonna do more for, but 
but the, we are going to focus on right now the medical field sure. first because um, we try to do um, the introduce for our you know, the local hospital systems and um, after that maybe we are going to focus on the aftercare you know because uh, I realized that just visitors even the medical tourism they want to visiting openly in here. Sure. It's not a just one time. Ah, so, okay. okay. Yeah. Not just one procedure. Looking yes. At future as well. To yes. Keep this ongoing. Okay. Because if you just realize, oh, this medical system is very good, maybe the dermatology care. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I'm going to try to do maybe health care, you know, health screening, ah, maybe. I see. Yeah, and the dental care and the even. Everything. Yeah, everything. So, so actually the government, they want to do it more, you know, oh, okay, you come more often, come on, sure. Come often, I mean, yeah. people think so much about going to a foreign country is all about leisure tourism or doing something fun yes. activity. But Korea has this whole different area, this industry that foreigners from all around the world are coming to visit for K-beauty and K-medical. Yeah. When is, Cre I'm pronouncing this right, the service is called Crace? Yes, Crace. When is Crace launching officially? Uh, officially, we tried to launching. It's uh, maybe actually it was a launching end of this year. Okay. Yes. Okay. We tried to do it. Okay. But you know the business is uh, the plan is not only you know just what you think is going to happen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There are always changes and upgrades or some delays or yes. something. Okay. So we tried to do end of this year, okay. but. Maybe, uh, maybe we can see the next year for the only next year. Definitely, we are gonna launching for the death service because uh, we working on it very hard right now. So we try to do it. Is Crace a web based only? Is it also app based? How would people use your service? Uh, right now, we try to do the web based. Okay. But uh, they can see the mobile version too. Oh, as well. Okay. Yeah. So maybe later on. We are gonna doing for app version too. Okay. But right now we focus on the web, you know, first. Web first. With mobile version. Yeah, with the web, web mobile version. Yes, because um, we realize that the foreign foreign patients and the foreign visitors, mm -hmm. the very easily access to the web version. Yeah, I agree first, with this. But yeah. the app version is uh, some, you know, the visitors who cannot you know access or download. It's yeah, very hard to find. Yeah, yeah, yes. sure. So we just uh, we found that some that result. So that's why we try to do the web version first, web with the you know, mobile version, and then after that maybe we are gonna do the app version too. Yes. Okay, uh, a little follow up question here. Going forward, you have you have this product, you have your target market um, abroad. It's being used in Korea. K Medical, I'm, I'm, we're in Korea, you're a Korean company. Mm -hmm. It's about K Medical and K Beauty. Do you have any plans to export this service abroad? Mm, yes. Well, obviously, you want to target the foreign market. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Is, is this service that is only going to be used domestically to bring people in? Are you also working with doctors or healthcare professionals from abroad? And if so, which countries? Uh, Actually, right now we focus on the America first. Okay. Um, the, actually, our goal is uh, so many. It's a uh, Korean American. Uh -huh. They knew it for uh -huh. the medical system is very good in Korea mm -hmm. and then much cheaper than U.S. Right. Uh -huh. So, so many Korean American try to visiting in Korea and then yearly maybe they can have a health screening here. Uh -huh. But if, you know, but thank God, everything was good, mm -hmm. everything is good, mm -hmm. then you don't need to go back to the hospital, right? right, right. But if you have uh, some follow-up or you need to maybe surgery and some, you know, it's a bad result, mm -hmm. you need to do more, you know, after that. Yeah. So that's why we try to do aftercare. Maybe we can arrange in here. Uh -huh. There is a big hospital. We can transfer to mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. But if the patient cannot stay more longer, mm -hmm. they need to know it's a what you're gonna do. You know the aftercare in right. their area. Right. So actually, we try to find the connect with uh, the American facility okay. too. Okay. So if they have uh, some health screening here, mm -hmm. have uh, some bad result mm -hmm. or the follow-up 
we just uh, try to arrange it to the you know their hospital or okay. their primary care in you know, over there. So we try to do, make uh, some connection over there too. So the service could potentially also loop back to their home yes, country. Yes. So you're starting with America. Are there, are there other countries after America? Yes. So actually, we are gonna focus on America after that. Maybe Japan. Okay. Because so many Japanese come in to visiting yeah, yeah. the medical I've, tourism I've seen here. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So we try to do the Japan, and then maybe we can make a China, and okay. you know. So we try to do more broad, and then um, when we research for this business, and then for this service. We realize that the Europe mm -hmm. have uh, some difficulty for the medical care. Mm -hmm. We realize that, so maybe we are gonna focus on the Europe too. Okay, so you want to go? Obviously, you want to go yes. global, completely global. Yes. Great, but obviously the plans are go global. You have a service that is obviously necessary to bring people to some of the best medical care in the world. It might be the best at this point, medical care and K Beauty as well, K Medical and K Beauty. Mm -hmm. You're here at Pangyo at the startup campus, Pangyo Techno Valley. What is the advantage of working here in this area? Um, I have uh, so many good partners in here because especially um, we have uh, some many foreigners in here too. Sure. So we can sometimes we just do the interview for them too. Perfect. And then a lot of uh, the good companies, the CEO here. So we have uh, some network. So we can have uh, some asking and we can have uh, some the Fe advising, feedback, feedback. And, yeah, advising and yeah, feedback. Yeah, and then even the developing for this system, it, it was very dif difficult, you know. And then I have to learn very much for that one because I don't have a that background. Mm -hmm. So, but I found a good partners in here too. So that's why we have a... Um, with other companies, the CEO, I just, you know, asked them and then they just, you know, advised, oh, this system is better and this one is, you know, maybe uh, better for your company and, you know, something like that. So I like the very good network in here. And then especially space is very beautiful. Of course. So great space, networking, getting advice, feedback, collaboration with different experts, regardless if they're in the medical field or not. As you said, there are a lot of expats, foreigners here working as well. Mm -hmm. So it just seems like the perfect incubation hub for this kind of business. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. Absolutely. Actually, um, last week, I went to the forum okay. in New York. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was from here. So that's why I have uh, some chance to go over there. Uh, it was organized from here. Yeah, um, it's um, GBSB. Yeah, GBSA. GBSA, yeah. They, they GBSA. organized the forum in New York. Uh, they have, yes, over there. Yes. Oh. Is yeah. there anything else you'd like to add to our interview, you two? Mm, um, okay, so our business and then the crazy service mm -hmm. we try to make uh, it's a great service for the foreign patient mm -hmm. because a lot of barriers and a lot is actually is not good infra over there yeah so we try to make a good infra so that many foreigners come into the korea and then maybe they have a so oh very convenient like a korean you know and Maybe they have uh, some good medical service and then maybe good memory and have uh, some, maybe they have a health life. Yeah, there you yeah. go, a healthy and happier life. Yes, yes, okay. we try to make it. So the service is Crace. I am here at Pangyo Startup Campus um, with, the, with Yuju Cho and she's introducing her service Crace. And what it is, is it's a personalized medical matching service that's gonna help all of you abroad get in touch and be able to receive the best medical treatment and K-beauty service possible. K-medical and K-beauty is huge. The hardest part, one of the hardest things is getting here, getting appointments, finding accommodation, getting connected with the right doctor and getting aftercare. And this service is hopefully going to solve that all. It's also based off of AI learning, so it's only gonna get better. They also, not just one procedure, if you need many, many procedures, hopefully you don't need too many procedures, but if you want the best medical care and you wanna keep upgrading for a happier and healthier life, Crace is coming out soon, hopefully by the end of the year, if not early next year. I'm Jay, and here at Pungyo Techno Valley.